getting sexy loud noises. Adam C and welcome back to my Cobra and a very exciting video. Today I'm heading down to Hills Prestige who have just opened up a new unit in Lymington and they're hosting an open day for supercars and performance cars. So I'm going down in the Cobra and this is exactly the type of video that I love filming the most because I have no idea what's going to turn up. And in my boots today I have just picked up some more Legacy Legends mugs. So as you all know I love a livery and all of these are available at legacylegends.co.uk and using Adam 10 you can get 10% off your order. Just follow the link in the description below. So I reckon it's gonna be a manic and chaotic day. So let's hop in the Cobra and find out. Hills Prestige and their new units which is behind us. I've been chatting to people for about an hour and all of the cars have since arrived so I'm kind of squeezed in the back there. Quite a good spot by the burger van. Cars are even starting to leave and cars are filled all the way around the unit so we're going to start here, go around that way and then work our way back. We've even got this very bright yellow Lamborghini Aventador SVJ rolling in making a lot of noises. We've got this Huracan over here with Performante stripes and what I initially thought said Super Ligero on it, but actually it says Supercharger in the same font, so there it is. Oh, what a unit. We've got the Aventador Roadster flexing, the SVJ has parked up over there, there's a Speciale Aperta. Cars are leaving, there's a Cerbera leaving as Mustangs are coming in, so cars are just going to be floating around the whole day. There's loads of McLarens here, they all arrived with each other as they always do. McLarens always seem to arrive as a pack, so maybe in case one of them breaks down they can recover their mates. British things! There! is an RX-7. Oh wow, it is a bit of a car village today. Here we have the RX-7 who is part next to quite a nice MG midget with a cream bonnet, a maroon roof and it's black. But the RX-7 has disposed of its pop-ups in favour of these duo permanent headlights. I can hear a V8 Audi RS4 making a departure. <laughs> Ah, uh, you can see he's a petrol head. We have a couple of Mercs, but there's a bright yellow Audi TT RS and another C63. He's got the Edition 507 nostrils and a bit of a sticker showcase on the windscreen. There is a bright orange Lotus Exige with bronze wheels and yellow calipers. He's opted for all of the colours. The harnesses have got yellow in them as well, as well as the surrounds to the gear stick. And a faint Lotus badge on the rear spoiler and some more faint logos on the engine cover with a Michelin man with a very happy face. Oh, C63 starting up. There's a classic Beetle pass up there in maroon, looking really nice. We've also got this bright yellow 911 Targa next to a Z28 Camaro convertible. Wherever you look, there's cars just driving everywhere. C63s are revving in the background. BMWs are driving around trying to find the best space possible. And we've got a bit of a retro section over here. We've got the Mark 1 MR2 next to a Ford Cortina with the exposed headlights. Ah, oh, look, the orange Focus ST has gate crashed the lineup of Mark III Focus RSs with a Series 2 Lotus Exige on the end in red. Oh, we've got a start up from the Mustang over there, parked next to a very low Audi, and a C4 Corvette. Don't see a lot of this generation around the place. The Mustang is making some noises, the Audi is very low. There seems to be a lot of people on the exit already filming the cars leaving, so we shall head there in a bit. We're going to have a little look around first and then go and see what's going on. We've got Gran Turismo driving about, going past the VR6 Corrado with Lambo doors that's parked over there. This A45 has matched his headlights to his stripes. And this R8 has matched his wheels to his side bits. I'm loving the 205 Cabriolet with the almost tartan seating as the 997 Carrera S leaves. Good morning. 
We are still mourning, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Don't let his number plates confuse you. This is a Ferrari 550 and it is six-speed gated manual. We've got this 650S with the louvres in the wing and a 370Z convertible. Oh, it's for sale. We've got the Ford gang over here. I'm working my way back. Then we will see what a leaving couple of RS4s and a lowered 350Z next to a lowered 740i. I'm liking the front end of this 350Z. The bumper and splitter combo is quite a nice choice. It's the above we got 718 Cayman GT4, an M2 with a wing, and this M4 which is next to a car that I have wanted to see ever since it was first birthed on the internet, a Porsche 911 in the Rothmans livery. It's wide body, it's got a large wing, and it's a flat nose as well. So gone are the classic 911 arches. It's been flat nosed on the floor as well. We've got the Hampshire Photography BMW Art Car. We've got these 720Ss with the 600 LT and Aston Martin GT8 in similar kind of color combos. And next to me is a purple Audi R8 with the bravest wheel choice on the earth. Almost like the Joker, he is showing us an illuminous green with the purple color of the R8. But you can see that cars have already started clearing out. It's still early, I don't know where they're heading off to. So I think we should join the majority at the exit to see the cars leaving. Because that way we get to hear them and see them without people. Right at the front of the lineup, there's a GI Yaris in dark green with the OZ wheels looking pretty nice. Nice combo. Here's the exit. Back road is pretty cool leaving the show. You see, we've got cars coming in as cars are leaving as well, as the M2 with the wing departs. The Beetle's gone, the Beetle's left. It's a three-seater like a McLaren F1. Let's go to the roundabout, why not? There's an event at all coming, it's all good. It's too loud. A maroon DB11 pulls in, it's of Atlante 2, with the roof up unusually, although it's not sunny today. There is the DMC events that are leaving the show. A Golf GTI enters the show. Now there is an Aventador S pulling out. He's been doing some revs earlier. It sounds unlike any other Aventador S that I've ever heard. Definitely loud. He's got pipes. It's a little bit of a lower tone to normal. We shall hopefully see in a sec. We've got a couple of Mercs coming around first though. blue flame there. Cars are going up that way, that's not fair. Come on 997, you can come this way with the Maserati and the 5 litre Chimera. Chloe's found a beetle, he's so cool, let's get a focus. He's awesome! It seems most of the revolutions are going on over there, but we're on the roundabout. We're here to say he can't rev. Is not popping, he's more, you know, sensible. Kind of. Oh, look, the Corolla has made its return. That was full throttle. <laughs> the M140, here it comes. Art car livery looking astonishing. We shall call this the magic roundabout today. We next have an assortment of McLaren 720Ss joining the magic roundabout. McLaren orange, followed by grey with the red accents, and another in McLaren orange. And now the GC8 from Aston Martin going the wrong way. Uh, too sexy apparently. V8 Audi R8. Oh, the 458 got squirrely there. Oh, that made my heart go. That was a wicked car. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, he's going the wrong way. 
and the Subaru as well. Ah, classy V8 Vantage, I like those a lot. the scene. Ah, here comes the Series 2 Lotus Exige. Chloe's all good. She's got her Nintendo Switch. Animal Crossing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Right, we've got an R8 next. Oh, he's heading up that way. There is something. Oh, the Aventador S has returned. Will we get another blue flame from the Aventador? Let's hope. We love V12 and we don't like these Corolla hybrids. Sorry, mate. Oh, the Mini has some stripes for added art. Yeah. These two girls are now part of the Magic Roundabout. They are the Roundabout. Although maybe not the best decision with the imminent Mustang. Although, would it be safe on the inside of the Roundabout or on the exit where I am? Oh, yeah, do you like my new shoes? They're very brave. Troco R's doing a, a slow drive. He, his feet were on the dashboard, that's very dangerous. Here comes the Mustang, that's probably just as, if not more dangerous, but luckily the traffic has held him up. Let's have a look at it. We've got the golden wheels, blue and white stripes, classic livery, loving it, with the N430 Aston Martin V8 Vantage in the heritage colour scheme. Got another little lineup, C63 convertible and a 997 Turbo. Yep, great checking himself. The Hurricane is revving. For the crowds, the uh, 4 Series has splitters. It sounded like a hoover. The Hurricane will not. Let's hear. V10 noises, please. Hi, Lambo. There we go. Well, now we have the V10 Audi R8 doing some revolutions. We have the MC Stradale in front. A bike was doing a wheelie. That was random. There goes the MC Stradale and the R8 still. Mini is on it around the magic roundabout. Here he goes. Quite the departure. Bit of an understated car, an RS5 convertible. Not even here for the meat. Ah, oh, they are no longer the roundabout. Oh, he's scraping on something. RIP to him. What is it? What is this? I can't see anything. Oh, there's a bit of bit of trim. Oh. I have a feeling the Golf GTI is gonna go that way. Yep. Oh, the Mini with the RC stripes is back. Oh, it's Martini. I didn't realise because it's a blue car. It's got Martini stripes on it. There are blue along with the red. Well, you can't have Martini without art. It's got the SL making a casual departure. Oh, he's doing a lap of the Magic Roundabout like it's a carousel. The Landy and the RS5 aren't even here for the meet, but we're appreciating them. Right, we have the six-speed gated manual Ferrari 550 with the Camaro Z28 convertible behind. Sing it. Sing. Sing a song. They can sound nice. The Mercedes is revving for the cameras. There is a tricycle coming from the top of the hill. We'll see that in a bit, but first we have the E190. All of the colours, we got revs from the McLaren and the Lotus. And here is this tricycle trying to get sideways. of spec Audi R8 is leaving purple with the luminous green wheels that is quite the sight are the residents enjoying this or not oh yeah they're loving it <laughs> okay GTR next a Litchfield tuned GTR with two R8s sideways there. <laughs> yeah. The Merc has canards and sounds louder than normal. It's like a crayon grey. It's quite a nice spec that. Missing his number plate on the front though. Noises? Come on, you're a yes man, say yeah. There 
is the mate. Oh, it's got mascara on the X6. We have the bright orange BMW M4 spoiler on the back, almost resembling the M3 GTS, I'd say. TVR Griffith, another 5 litre Rover V8. As part of your driving lesson, we're going to teach you how to tackle car shows because it's an important part of the British lifestyle. Oh, he's bussing as the F10 M5 comes round the roundabout. Does this car belong to Andy or Joe? <laughs> it's anyone's guess. A silent departure from a GTR? Now I've seen it all. Yes, liquid yellow and the clear RS. Civic Type R, R standing for race, the mode he was not using there. Next up we have an Audi RS4. And a banana yellow above. Oh, he's bussing again. Oh, this is more a bit of me, a Dodge pickup, looking pretty cool. DBS going the wrong way again. I'd love to see all the locals' reactions to seeing people stood around filming their interesting cars with cameras. It's it must be a bizarre sight. People are running. That suggests something interesting is on its way down. I haven't heard any revs yet. Maybe it's the policeman officer in his X5. Oh, check out the combo. We got the pink Jazz and the pink 500. These two obvious car enthusiasts here. The Bentley's gone up the wrong way. I say the wrong way, it's probably, he probably lives down there. Oh my god, they match my laces, it's fantastic. Everyone's missing the combo of the century, we've got the Scania by the co-op with the co-op trailer. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, his arms fall off. Right, what are we going to get from the high-vis wrapped X5? I'm imagining the send of the century. So what are we going to see? We're going to see a racing line round the roundabout where he hit the apex, he's going to run wide here. Not quite, didn't quite use all the road, there he goes. Cheer from the appreciative crowds. Okay, we next have the Red Bull liveried VR6 Corrado, currently not flaunting his Lambo doors, but we did see them earlier. Well, let's get a shot of this Corrado. I love a livery, especially on something like this. Next up, we have a Ferrari 488 GTB with some yellow wheel trims leaving the show. Oh, a bit of throstle happy there. in the town interior on that too. Here comes the Clio. They think it's a track day, they are very much mistaken. Right, another little convoy first, we have the BMW with the Mercedes behind. Loud noises. People are running again, it's like something must be coming. We're hoping for the event of SVJ, the R8 is revving, we've got a Mustang, another R8 at the front there as well. Why is it R8s today that are trying to wiggle on this roundabout? They are Quattro, they're not wiggly cars, nor is this Evo. The R8 number plate says goodbye as we say goodbye to him. Oh. Okay, I think we're safe. We're safe now. You see, British people know how to drive Mustangs. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, he's put a spoiler and an Edition 507 stripe on his Mercedes C-Class. And even the AMG exhaust as well. Oh, Mustang. Now, is that an M4 GTS I can see? Mm, lovely. Don't know when the last time I saw an M4 GTS was. Noises? This next one is the supercharged Lamborghini Huracan. I don't think much supercharging was used. Ah, 
Now we have the Aventador SVJ. There goes the Corvette and the Aventador should be coming this way. This is going to sound great. This Z3 has really hit the spot. Look at the stripes. Are they overriders on the front and the rear? It's trying to look like a Cobra. It's got the stripes and the overriders. Yeah, that didn't hit the spot for me, but it's unique. I'll give it that. Oh no, IS200s. These are either driven by grannies or people like that. I don't think anyone's gran is driving this Lexus today. 1.6205 GTI, a bit late for the show, but we don't mind. We've got big and small, the Lexus LS400 first. There's an MG Midget leaving as well, wafting its way past. Ah, they've brought out the F12 TDF. Now, we didn't have a look inside the Hills Prestige showroom, but the TDF and the other Ferrari behind it were both in there. There goes the Learner Driver MG Midget and a TVR Griffith with OZ wheels. Both of these Ferraris that seem to be in their triple layer red, which looks really nice with gold wheels, were both in the Hills Prestige showroom. We didn't get to look at them and they're going out that way. Number seven, interestingly. Pub? 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 That's a Z! Is he going to be a noisy? Is he going to be noisy? It's, it's ex Soph. Hello Sophie. That was a bloke. Your name's not Sophie. Here's the Z. Is it going to be a noisy Z? from the 740. It's a future classic. Now I think we're getting to the stage of the day where everyone here is waiting for each other to leave. So all of the owners of the cars are still stood here so there's no one actually departing. Oh, oh lovely, a Vauxhall VXR8 has joined the party a bit late. Oh, he's, he's just given up, he's going home. Where's your beetle friend? Uh, have I got a beetle on me? Stop focusing on him. Yeah, there he is. He's an older leaf beetle. Oh, older than who? Oh, check out the diffuser and the ducktail on this. And the supercharger wine. Yeah, a little ducktail on the back. I like that. Here comes, apparently, Alex. Goodbye, Alex. Ah, oh, the RX-8 is off to find some more oil to drink. Whoa! Must be in a rush. line in his 911, his friend's next. Ah yes, the Civic has matched his brave red wheels to the Honda logo on the front. Ah look, a 540C arrives. There goes the Type R. I didn't see the 812 that I was following, I mean there's a Cali T there, but the 812 just went that way on the way in, so we were lucky to find him. It's Mark P. <laughs> oh, the Albanian taxi has made his return. I like his blacked out headlights matching the blacked out wheels. Here he comes. Oh, another one for me. A Chevy Nova. Oh, I love that. There goes the sexy Cobra. Automatic as well. The baby blue 600 LT. They had a dog inside as well, so some careful driving. V8 Range Ruby. Oh, look, we have a cambered E36. It feels like a standard Adam C video. Someone's shining a laser pointer in him. That sounded like a welded dip. the Golf and Polo GTI combo. He was getting the racing line. There's eight people in the Polo. Whoa. There it goes. Cali T with someone in the back. Two people in the back. It's Doris in a jazz. As someone's nan comes back in her Lexus. That wasn't a nan. Nans don't do that. <laughs> Loud noises. Here comes the topless mic. It's the convertible Morris Minor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's bought himself a Honda Civic. And the Chevy Nova has made a return. Oh, no! <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
Mr. Two. Mr. and Mrs. Two, it seems. <laughs> But from the Hills Prestige Open Day, that was pretty much that. So, that was probably my favourite car of the day, the flat-nosed Porsche 911 in the Rothmans livery. I'm going to get back in the Cobra and maybe find a pub to eat outdoors in. But I hope you enjoy that video. Go follow me on Instagram for the weekly updates and highlights about these meets that I go to lose. But for now, thanks for watching.